Welcome back to the channel, it's Gazit. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So in today's video, you're probably wondering what is going on. There's some new weapons on the screen that you're seeing right now. How do we get these? What do we have to do? I want these in game right now. Well, guess what? This video today is going to be telling you exactly how to get yourself these new weapons. So, Call of Duty, Treyarch, you know, Warzone, Infinity Ward, the whole shebang, basically. What has happened is... There are some weapons that are meant to be coming out for the mid-game, like Battle Pass, which is meant to be in like a month's time, something something like that. But guess what? You can actually unlock these weapons early right now. And this is only doable if you go into the Warzone game. And if you go into the Warzone game, there's three things you're going to have to do, but it is a big grind to be able to get all three of these weapons. So the first one, which you can get, is called the Street Sweeper Shotgun also known as the striker so to be able to get this one you need to get a free kill streak with either the gallo sa12 or the hauer 77 it has to be either one of those two weapons which is the black ops cold war weapon so jump into a game of warzone or rebirth island and pick one of those weapons and you need to get a free kill streak without dying once you've got a free kill streak you can simply back out the game start up a new game and do the exact same thing but it's not as easy as it sounds because you have to do this 15 times in total so that is a lot of kills that you need to get without dying and i've tried this personally it is quite a difficult one there is easy ones to do which i'm about to tell you right now so this next one is to get the Sledgehammer melee weapon. I will pull up a picture on the screen right now. And what you do need to do with this one is you need to get a double kill. Sounds easy enough. But you need to get a double kill with the Black Ops Cold War version of the knife. But you have to do it for 15 games also, which is also a big pain in the ass. Because a double kill with the knife is quite difficult. But you can actually down the enemies, then finish them off when they're on the floor. So it might be a bit easier if you do it that way. And the last and the final one is the one I've been going for personally. And I found it probably the easiest one out of the three. And you need to get two assassinations or finishing moves. Same things, depends what you want to call it. So you need to get two in a single game. But you only have to do it ten times. So you can just drop into Rebirth. You know, go find the people that aren't playing at the end of the travel path. Do a couple of finishing moves on them restart the game and repeat this process and it should be unlocking for you in 10 games time but the one thing you do need to watch out for if you go into the war zone and the black ops cold war menus you will not see these guns as unlockable items these are like secret unlockable items you're not actually supposed to unlock these right now so you never know in an hour's time in a week's time these challenges might not exist and you might just be wasting your time so if you feel like doing this do it now because it's still working in game today and you can go on to black ops cold war or warzone or zombies and get all the camos that you wish to get so that is the video today that is how to get all the new melee weapons and shotgun and the new black ops cold war and warzone experience they are secret and this probably will be packed very very soon when they find out hold on these weapons aren't meant to be here right now but basically do it right now before they patch it so that's the video today i hope you've enjoyed this one and i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching guys and i'm out peace